quickly, I, I'll try my mouse as a clicker, if it works good. Uh, B.Tech Mechanical Engineering, IIT Madras, MBA Design and Energy Management, Polytechnic Milan. Uh, no, it doesn't work, good. So these are some of the things you could know about me later. I don't have much time. Yeah, so I have a, you know, experience in almost all the irrelevant fields other than design. Uh, derivatives trading, analyst, algorithmic trading, startup, failed, uh, product consultancy, then product manager mobile, uh, product mobile UX consultancy, and then uh, last year, uh, before the launch of Swaj Bharat, I launched, four days before it, we launched Swaj Bharat app. Uh, I run it during my non-working hours. Working hours, I work for Dream11, where we are trying to disrupt uh, cricket experience for, you know, uh, website uh, through mobile apps. So, yep. so I'll be talking, I'll be talking less, I'll be showing more, okay. So, smartphones uh, are pretty new, okay. We don't know that. Last five years, smartphones have come. iPhone basically revolutionized what smartphones could do for you. Feature phone is basically your old phones with a keypad and all. Uh, Blackberry is considered to be the first smartphone in general. So, you know, 10% market share, 16%, 22%, Android came and suddenly we know we are, next year, there will be basically, you know, only 30% of the world's market will have feature phones, okay. Why this is very important is basically, you know, uh, in India, last year, we had 29% year-on-year replacement sales of feature phones going, and the people who sell or, you know, throw away their feature phone are buying only smartphones, okay. So 29% of the feature phones last year were replaced with smartphones. It's projected 65% next year, and probably you will not see feature phones in, you know, two years from now. now. Uh, what we have, another thing which is very important is, you know, uh, mobile OS. So, we had Android share in 2010, uh, 22%, okay, it's pre it was pre pretty small, it just started there. And iOS was 15.6, we had Blackberry, Symbian, and all the other ones. Suddenly, we see, you know, Android jump, come out of nowhere and take over the market smartphone market and then you know uh, revenue also came into the factor because iOS Apple you know they don't go into make something if they don't make money yeah so iOS revenue was 75% in 2013 they had a market share of 12.9% okay so they were minting money the numbers of revenue are much lower I O uh, Android you know Play Store launched uh, China also they had a Baidu market which is Play Store copy they don't have their own market but then their revenue increased drastically. Now what is going to happen next year is iPhone $100 price cut, okay. So that's gonna change the scenario a bit more. And you know, iOS market share currently is 13.9%, probably will go to 16%. And the, you know, important thing is iPhone is the preferred choice for new smartphone buyers in China and to some extent in, in India also. So, uh, of course, why it is a preferred choice, UX guys, you should know, okay. Uh, some mobile trends in India, okay. Internet adoption increasing drastically, just check out the numbers. Uh, what is more important is, you know, local language users, 57% in rural and growing at 79% year on year, which means as UX designers or product managers, you cannot forget about local languages or, you know, do not forget about geolocalizing your products, okay. So I'll skip these four, five slides, okay. Uh, by the end of 2017, market de demand for mobile app development services will be five times what each company can manage, okay, if we do not have a skill force. By 2017, enterprises will have their enterprise app store, which means uh, you know, probably Pepsi will have 50 apps, Coca-Cola will have 100 apps, and they have a Coca-Cola app store, you'll go to their link, check out one app, second app, third app, probably they will cross-promote apps. So these are some things which you should remember while designing, okay. So I'll move to the core presentation, and if we have time, we'll come back to some of those things. Uh, so I am not a qualified speaker, but then I'll try to do some justice to this. Uh, UX rule number one, you should know your user course, it's very basic, but then how? Okay. So, uh, in mobile apps, mobile web, 
you should know your user based on these four broad categories okay first is usage whether he is a data addict high usage medium addict or is a traditional uncle you know just comes call kar raha ho gaya or internet hi nahi hai bhai kyun 5 rupaye 5 rupaye per day waste kar raha hu theek hai so each one if your user base falls in no internet which means you have to provide all the services along with the app okay whether it's video ed- educational video which will go with the app or not if it's a high usage data addict guy probably all iphone users you know every app uh, iphone releases generally you know uh, you connect to the internet update uh, you know you get a data rich experience also in that so you have to be very careful you know what kind of users will be your user base revenue of course you know free apps uh, swachh bharat app is free uh, freemium candy crush you download the app play but then you need to buy the coins to move to next level or you do quick to move to the next uh, level paid apps is basically you know you buy the app before checking it out okay and then there is partner usage basically you know uh, you use the app but you also you know see ads okay so partners or uh, mobile ads or videos so these are broad categories these are not the only categories uh, utility is also very important so if you are making a utility app phone so if most of the users you know older generation phone karne ke liye use karte hain right so they they those are utility apps they use call messages more than enough abhi thoda whatsapp they have understood okay uh productivity apps is all the product managers and other guys you know uh, these days everyone has email connected so you sh- you should be you know able to segment users based on this also okay games quizzes ghar pe baithe aunties okay and of course uh, information and uh, seekers of info wherein you know you have to provide contextual information because in mobile i cannot write a story and search do a google search if i start start typing you know uh, c o n t it should end up with e x t context or you know content so you have to think about providing quick you know contextual search or filters okay uh, style of course is very important if you are look, looking at you know global users go with safe arial helvetica fonts okay uh, modern if you are going with you know darker backgrounds uh, flat if you are going with a global audience which recognizes only icons okay you don't need to have text and then of course comics if you are going into games or you know uh, lower age group of children uh, lower age group of users okay so this is something which most people miss and i think uh, you know women in design are also missing is you know uh, never use the internet on mobile device this is india this is last year's data it's almost you know close to 80% this is changing drastically so do not forget to design for women because they are highly and uh, highly addicted to data usage because they have a lot of free time relatively don't take it in the wrong way but they have a lot of time okay uh, localized features which is very important i'll come to this part in the next slide and also to the part wherein you know uh, in a mobile device if you don't speak visually Uh, what does it mean i'll come in the, uh, you you do not write stories on mobile people cannot read stories on mobile you have to talk everything in you know visual elements okay so uh, uber you know they they had no sos feature what happened one incident in delhi and then india ke liye localize karna pada sos feature especially for delhi but yeah uh, they didn't have a deb- debit card payment option in the rest of the world but they had to do it because in india rbi told nahi chalega right so uh, sim- on similar lines so swachh bharat app is a mobile governance solution which we built audience is india india means basically 1400 dialects okay so i don't you know i know that i cannot ask him to type anything i don't want to do that then you know if this is basically mobile governance solution wherein you can report your problems to the pm office okay so if i give him an option to write text indians will write bagban stories okay ye problem hua wo problem hua and they will they will never stop so you know use twitter 140 characters he can't do anything more than that okay so our reports are very simple you know please fix problem at the rate map url which comes in the background pmo india swachh bharat everything else is co- collected contextually and we also added the you know feature tweet from wifi because many people had a problem with 2g connections that you know 
picture was not picture was not uploading so uh, again you know these two are very important also you need to remember that all the uh, different devices and the browsers okay it doesn't stop at a device you have to also go into deep into the browsers part okay you have to segment your users you know where are they coming from what is the source what is the usage what is the medium you know what is the geography but and gender and then connect all this back to revenue because if you are not making money then you are doing social charity for you know free and you know generally social charity works for some time right so remember segmentation has to be done on all lines okay so uh, that was knowing your user and segmenting them which is very important now second feature you know second rule is basically toka koka if you have watched full metal alchemist you would know what it is how many have watched full metal alchemist yeah so yeah iq level very low here okay <laughs> so toka koka means equivalent exchange okay every product has two stakeholders especially in mobile uh, you know you give something you take something okay so facebook whatsapp and amazon what do they give us convenience affordable quality service affordable quality service it's very important because we could not afford it earlier now we can afford it because they give most of the things for free what do they get in return user base database advertising foothold nahi dekhne wale ads roz samne aate hain nahi dekhna hai fir bhi aate rehte hain but then what do they get they they make money right they make money because we are, they give affordable quality service and we are ready to spend our time by clicking some of their ads even if it is accidentally okay even if it is accident but then there has to be an equivalent exchange if you are making an app and you are thinking only revenue and you are giving users only some you know tidbits he'll probably you know delete your app okay so facebook recently launched autoplay videos i think many of you might have got pissed off with it right yeah but then facebook right now is in a position very you know it can piss off users as simple as that okay it wants to try out something it can do it because there is another social network called elo how many of you know it good see no one knows it <laughs> so coming to the you know most important ux rule for mobile apps and web is there is a very good uh, statement which is there in one of the science fiction books by you know officer gris uh, mission earth voyage of vengeance if you take care of the de details the big problems will take care of themselves okay so while providing your you know product core services just think about features learning curve navigation okay features learning curve navigation do not you know repeat things okay so mobile if you do not if you are listing out your products and you do not pro uh, provide the feature of sorting and filtering you know he cannot waste 20 minutes just to find the shoes of size m there is no shoes of size m okay uh, give him a tutorial okay tutorial tells him basic things about what is going to be there in the app what is he looking for in the app and what is he providing i am on time don't worry so uh, navigation if you have a broken navigation forget it your app is going to be deleted sooner or later okay navigation is the most important thing in a mobile app or a mobile web experience if you do not provide shortcuts or you know enough uh, shortcuts to the features which he regularly uses which you have to keep tracking what are what are the people you know coming and using my services for you you will lose the loser you will lose the user okay uh, use mobile sensors as much as possible uh, contextual location is one of the you know uh, most cool thing about any of the disruptive apps billion dollar companies okay uber just get my cab it sends gps it tells the driver finds the driver shows everything using location it's one of the you know most contextual app right now in the taxi market okay of course it was the disruptor now we have many copycats but that's okay but then use mobile sensors uh, so you can use nine mobile sensors which i cannot talk about right now but then try to you know add the mobile contextual add-ons in your app or mobile web experience okay notifications uh, don't bombard people have hundreds of app already you know be careful of what notification you are sending your notification cannot be you know uh, a b c d uh, x y z and then rest rest is hidden which is the actual message he would want to see okay it should talk the other way round provide him information 
which is necessary as simple as that okay so ujwala i don't know resource 9 but then he made this uh, you know quote if app has to continuously tell me how to navigate from one screen to another or what every button means basically then it has lost me completely okay so whatever happens at least have your navigation right okay uh, focus on contextual actions in android you have access to all the sensors data okay temperature pressure humidity these are also accessible people are making apps based on that in ios you do not have everything but then via 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 you can get it uh, ios focus on design providing a user you know uh, visual visualized experience instead of you know but in uh, android focus on using sensors okay so there is one thing which most ux designers in the world don't know is principle of least assumption okay uh, all these icons you must have seen in your life right almost everyone right so first one is notification alert okay second one is broadcast okay the ne next one is home button okay so basically this is an alert it's also a notification everyone knows it whoever has gone to web at and experienced it okay so you don't create an app and put this icon and write alerts next to it because it's a waste of space okay so use globally used icons okay home button everyone knows if you press home button it goes to the ho home of the app the dashboard of the app okay so don't waste your time writing home next to it okay uh, why is it more relevant than ever app stores you know how many apps they are publishing every day every month see that chart how many can you download every day you can't right so if you piss off a user with you know wasting space and you know uh, show him not enough information on your dashboard or in your menu, menu links basically you know you are competing against thousands of others uh, services and you need to think about all these details okay so active apps is 1.5 million uh, in app store and you know play store 1.6 million and you users suffer fr from too much cognitive load okay. already already and we are just seeing the rise of mobile apps okay so users do not have patience to you know you uh, have 15th version is the good version okay first version okay second version do most of the fix third version if you don't have a very good stable version basically your app is downloaded only by you okay so ux never forget that you know real estate space is the most important thing uh, it's a, the degree of challenge is very high you have to place most of your important things uh, you know in the that space uh, later so value of ux i'll just go to one slide so this was this was android lock screen that was ios lock uh, iphone lock screen so daily active android users is this okay average number of times you unlock is around 50 and you know you might take 0.2 seconds so in the two screens the only difference is an okay button okay and what is the value of removing that OK button? Apple guys realized it long, long before Android guys. It's 4.9 Indians every day savings. Okay. So remember, you know, when you are doing a UX uh, change, you can quantify everything. If you don't quantify, you know, basically you are hawa mein tukka mar rahe. Okay. So take risk. No one knows what's going to be good user experience. Okay. This is an open market for you know experimenting everything a uh, bit about me and thank you